From portraying James Dean to Spider-Man's foe, it has never been a question James Franco has talent. Yeah, very talented man. And in the new film, Milk, he portrays the homosexual lover of San Francisco politician Harvey Milk. Our entertainment reporter, Sandy Newton, says he turns in another powerful performance. There she is, our new campaign manager. You all scared of girls. The story made headlines back in the 70s when famed San Francisco politician Harvey Milk was gunned down in his office in broad daylight. The tragedy made worse by the fact Milk was making huge strides in the gay community. Sean Penn portrays a charismatic Milk. James Franco plays his loyal lover. The film takes you right back to that powerful era. Talk to me about being on San Francisco, on the streets, you know, in the same places, in the same environs that all of this took place. It was must have been surreal. It was surreal, but it was also really inspiring to be able to shoot, you know, in San Francisco on the Castro. A lot of people that knew Harvey were around at the time, and when they'd walk into that set and see us all in our costumes and everything, you could see in their eyes that we, you know, that something was, you know, real was being captured. The movie has a lot of firsts for Franco, like nudity. The only odd thing about that one is, like, you know, there are a bunch of other people who are in the scene that were not naked, and so I, yeah, that that was a little uh, uncomfortable. Ironically, the film speaks to current struggles. In the in the movie, Harvey and and others, you know, fight against uh, Proposition Six, which would have uh, barred gay teachers from being able to teach in schools, and now we have Proposition Eight, which is. Uh, not giving equal rights to uh, gay people and saying, you know, you don't have the same rights as everybody else. And so it shows that, you know, a lot of the issues brought up in this movie are still very relevant. Milk is rated R and opens this week citywide. Definitely check it out. In Dallas, Sandy Newton, TXA 21 News.